channel. If you're new here, this is a channel where I talk about all things natural health and beauty and pretty much anything that has to do with it. So today I'm going to be sharing with you the many health benefits of spirulina and or spirulina, however you choose to pronounce it. But this has so many good health benefits for you and I really just wanted to share just a quick video of what those benefits are. So let's get started. So number one, spirulina is probably one of the most nutrient dense food on the planet. Um, and the reason is, is because it contains a really high source or complete source of protein. Um, they kind of, a lot of times, compare it per gram to the egg of how high in protein it is. So it's a really good source of protein or just an added extra source of protein to add um, throughout your day, especially if you're really into um, fitness or if you're just trying to um, take in more grams of protein per day, this is a really good source of that. So it also is a really good source of B1, of iron and magnesium. So if you're looking for something to um, add some of those to your diet or if you're needing to um, intake more throughout the day, then this is a really good thing to consider. So the biggest thing that spirulina is known for is GLA, and that is the gamma linoleic acid. And also um, it contains omega-3s. So these two things combined um, offer an anti-inflammatory property. So this is a lot of reasons why people choose to add spirulina to their diet is because it's anti-inflammatory it's anti-inflammatory and it really can help with a lot of issues like um, if you have arthritic um, joints or if you're dealing with acne or if you're just dealing with inflammation in your body in general just of some sort or some kind this really is going to help you. So an interesting fact about GLA um, it is a really hard thing to find in um, like different types of foods and it's actually something that has to be produced by the body but spirulina is one of the few things that does provide that and so that's why a lot of people choose to add it to their diets. It's a very powerful antioxidant and this is important to keep our immune system strong and just to keep us healthy in general. Um, to give you an idea of how strong of an antioxidant it is, it is four times stronger than the antioxidants of a serving of blueberries. And we know that blueberries are really high in antioxidants, so this is a great source um, to keep us healthy and strong, um, especially throughout the months where it's like flu season or um, just if you have a lot of people around you that are sick or just anything like that and you need to boost your immune system, I would highly recommend adding this to your diet. This one is really interesting to me and um, something that a lot of people struggle to find things that actually will do this, but spirulina is actually a really heavy metal detoxifier. And um, if you've ever had metal fillings or if you've ever had root canals where they put the metal implants in your mouth, those can sometimes give you metal poisoning or just really um, create toxins throughout your body. I've had issues with this. Um, I still have one metal filling that I'm going to be getting removed later on. But anyways, um, if you're looking to um, detox your body of any metals or heavy metal poisoning, this is a really great source for that. One of the reasons that it works so well for detoxifying your body of heavy metals or detoxing your body for, from heavy metals is because it's really high in chlorophyll. And um, studies have found that when you mix five grams of spirulina a day um, with zinc supplements, that it will actually really detoxify your body and really release those toxins. And spirulina on its own can do that as well, but when you mix it with the zinc, it just really gives you a heavy detox. And sometimes people just need that extra boost. And so that's why I kind of just wanted to mention that because they might be looking for something that will help um, release all these toxins out of their body. And so there's one way you could do it. So if you're looking for something to replace your coffee or just your unhealthy um, energy boost, this is a really good plant-based source. So I've noticed that since I've been taking it, like I've mentioned before, that um, I have so much more energy throughout the day. Um, 
even more so than when I did have a cup of coffee, which I don't drink it often, maybe just a few times a month, but now I just don't even want to drink it. Um, so this has really good, been a good replacement for me, and I was really searching for something that would um, give me lots of energy, and I tried different um, fruits and stuff uh, that were recommended in some vegetables, and I just wasn't really noticing much of a difference. But this spirulina really gave me the kick that I needed and really helps me to jumpstart my day and just help keeps me going pretty much throughout all of the day. Like I don't ever have a crash or notice that I just, um, you know, like with coffee you kind of hit that wall or whatever and you just want to take a nap. I don't ever have that anymore. Um, and I've only been taking it for a few weeks so I've really noticed a big difference in that. This is a really good one if you are a health junkie or you just really love exercising. You could use this for muscle and endurance benefits and one of the reasons that it works really well for this is because its high antioxidant content makes it beneficial for reducing exercise induced oxidation which leads to muscle fatigue and its inability to gain muscle. So it's, it's really good for helping you get rid of that after workout fatigue, which I know I struggled with sometimes, but I've noticed that since I've been um, taking this and working out that it's really helped give me lots of energy. This is a really big one because it, it is something that's really growing in our world today. Um, it can really help to reduce your risk of cancer. And cancer is a growing um, sickness that we have seen just tremendously blow up throughout the past few years. I mean, pretty much, I guess everybody that you know knows somebody that's struggled with cancer and it's really sad and I've, um, you know, I've personally worked in a wig shop where I service lots of people that were going through it and, you know, anything that we can do to prevent the situation is really gonna be helpful. So, you know, there's just so many things that we can do to prevent different diseases and sicknesses and I say if we have access to them why not add them to our diet and just go ahead and eliminate that um, or that possibility in our lives so that doesn't mean that it won't happen because it can happen to anybody but at least we're trying our best to keep ourselves healthy and reduce the risk of the possibility of getting that sickness or illness or disease. I'm curious to know if you guys want to know more about spirulina. Um, if you do, I would love um, your feedback. Please let me know in the comments below if you're interested in knowing more about it because I would love to go deeper on it um, if that's something you're interested in. I just kind of touched on the surface, um, but I would really like to explain these things more in depth if you're interested in that. So that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video. I know it was just kind of short and wasn't really in depth, but that's okay. Sometimes it's just what you need. And if you know anybody that is interested in spirulina or just would love to watch this, please share it with them. Share it with your friends and family. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!